here today in the third and final game of the day. The fourth will come tomorrow of this round of the Rugby Europe Super Cup. Already have had a couple of outstanding matches today. And now in our third, the top two teams in this Western Conference, the Luis Titanos at 2-0 with nine points at the top. Delta at 1-0 with a loss as well with six points themselves in second. So this should be a wonderful, a high-flying battle today here, Ollie. What a fantastic day for another great game of rugby. Look at the beauty of that field. Absolutely green Christmas. A fantastic uh, competition. Captain? The stage is set, and these two teams are sure to delight in some epic and fun-flowing rugby. We know these. We are set. We are. Here we go. Delta with the opening kick. It actually falls back into their hands, and now they take possession inside Lusitano's territory. The bureau with the ball stepping on the inside, trying to find his way through. That's the distance. Finding his way. Simone's, Simone's with the break. Simone's diving towards the line. He's on the break. He's in for the try. Number five, Simone. What a sprint for Rafael Simoish. Portugal on the board first. Put five down for Rafael Simoish, the number five lock in the second row. The absolute power and pace to break those three tackles on his way to the try line. For the Delta, perhaps he was he had blown his whistle just before the ball went over, but I'm unsure as to why or what that what the cause of that was. Interesting. Let's see if they have another opportunity here to drive forward. Penalty try earned from the Delta. So that's seven points. Finally, Delta will break through. They get the complete seven on the penalty try. After try, after try, they take the seven to five lead. Nice. Start here for Portugal. They're out and running, and quickly they go. Ribeiro inside for the try. The Luisitanos take the lead right back. It's 10 to 7. Speed, precision, variety, and power. These are fantastic play phases of play from Luisitanos. You don't need much when you know how to execute, and they just did exactly that. Took it to the line, found the inside space, looked to shift the ball once you break the line and well-earned try for number 13, Rivera. Excellent phase of play off the set piece here. Will be a scrum for Delta. Long, 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 I feel a rough and long. Send me to, send me to, I go. Scrum collapses, the whistle does come. It's a good option so here that, from the Lus Lusitanos going for the three points. Portugal since 2019. Been a part of those U20 Euro Championships for Portugal. He's won, helped them win two in a row, and he helps them here with three points. He gets the goal. Lusitanos take a 15-7 lead. They're up by eight. Anything else? And the pushing and shoving is unaccepted on his, back, on his side. And the whistle sounds. Halftime is upon us here in Amherst Fort in the Netherlands. It's 15 to 7. Luis Tanos probably could have added some more right there before the break, but those after the fact penalties preventing just that. Delta was knocking on the door for most of the first. Great weapon here in the second half. And he's a game changer as we've seen in this competition. And Luis Tanos, if they maybe if this gets closer or even they want to pull away at the end, they can insert him into the lineup and things will happen. We've seen that before. Certainly, he is an electric player that's able to shoot anything when he puts his hands on the ball. Through the air, Marta picks it up. The fellow settles things down. Get it 
out just wide, finds Ribeiro. Out wide. Steps on the inside of the touchline, looking for the try. Just a meter out now. Lost. Punted forward and kicked back, and then the referee cop got to kick himself in there. Is that past the line? It is past the line. Frudenthal for the try. And interesting how that ball squirted seven, out. Of the Luis Itanos. The ball kicked forward off the scrappy play off the, from, the, uh, from the scrum half's pass, but somehow just off the Delta player, unable to recover, back in, on the inside, and Ruvital just able to capitalize on that here. match between these top two teams in the Western Conference as if Delta would were to come back and win this they would possibly take the lead here but once again out free the Lusitanos what an exchange out in the open Joao Granat the try 27 to 7. Granat dives his way into underneath the post with a well worked uh, space to the outside this Lucy Tullis team is dangerous with ball in hand and exciting to watch. Granat's third start of this Rugby Europe Super Cup and finally he finds some points here. The blind side flanker at number six. Punted forward, caught in mid-air. What a catch by Marta, what a run afterwards as well for the try. A beauty of a play. It was like Marta was shot out of a cannon. Absolutely sensational. Again, the variety and the excitement in their game is unstoppable. The handshake afterwards, well earned. Over here to Delta, who now look to get it deeper into their Lusitanos territory. Talk so much about Getch, of course. Getch, four of six when it came to the PK portion in game one. One for three on conversions. And the second, a couple PKs, a couple conversions himself. And you can see he just has the majesty to be able to create plays and does just that. Pedro Lucas out home free. Slides in safely for the try. 41 to seven, Luis Itanos. The counter attack is dangerous from Luis Itanos. Just exploring the space in behind, looking up and identifying that there's that there's defenders that are jig jagged across the field and they're just attacking that space. Looking on the inside, two passes after the breakdown. Nicely done by Getch, electric with ball in hand, fast footwork, then the shift in the ball. Lucitano's getting a push now inside the five towards the try line. And the try has scored another one for Lusitano's, demonstrating that their forwards are just as capable as their backs. We said this earlier, that's the breadth and the depth that they have. They are explosive up front, powerful, able to work this ball. Supported, but well executed in the first half, I think just finding that time for the tempo is important. What an exciting and game of rugby there today. Are... <laughs> Absolutely. A, a, an impressive one at that for Lucy Tanos. They dominated through and through, didn't they? Abs they absolutely did. They were clinical, they were strong, they were exact, and they executed to the letter. Very well done, and an impressive and dominant display on their part today. A 50-7 to final here in round three.